Emma Baltimore Church is picking up the pieces after they found out one of their LGBTQ plus pride flags torn outside their congregation on Sunday. It's an LGBTQ plus affirming church. Their building is right on Light Street just as you drive into Federal Hill. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson was there today. So Jack, how are the folks holding up? Yeah, Kelly, Light Street Presbyterian Church has been affirming for about the last 30 years. A pastor with the church tells me it's in generally a supportive area and a supportive city for that matter, but he says this was jarring. I just think it's a place where people instinctively feel like they will be included. On one side of the front entrance to Light Street Presbyterian Church, a fully intact LGBTQ plus flag. You wouldn't be able to tell the one on the opposite side is identical. Monday afternoon, you'd see it flying in opposite directions, torn right in half. When you are a very visible LGBTQ affirming congregation, you sort of brace yourself for this moment. Tim Hughes Williams has been a pastor here for the last six years. He says he's never seen anything like this happen at the congregation. I think this is a space where some people feel they're safest. Um, so it feels a violation of a very sacred space. Um, but also the flags themselves uh, and the reaction they provoke in people, it, it, it reminds me of why we do it in the first place. This house of worship itself has been around since 1855, serving Baltimore as a Presbyterian church. The congregation has been gay affirming since 1996 and stresses a message of inclusivity and tolerance. I just cried. I was sitting at, the, at my kitchen counter and I just, I just cried. Stephen and Almeida Ruger are both active within the church. Stephen as an elder and Almeida as a deacon. They tell me this won't deter them or their message. My thought was to replace it simply because they're, they're not going to intimidate us. They're not going to make us back down or not say what we believe. Meantime, Hughes tells me on Monday he filed a police report and says they'll treat it as a hate crime. Hate, the exact thing this church is trying to avoid. In a world that doesn't feel safe um, to a lot of people, we want to be clear about the fact that this is a safe space. I checked in with Baltimore police on this tonight. They were at the church just before we were this afternoon. They are looking into this as a hate crime, and they tell me there is not currently a suspect in custody.